everyone. Welcome back to another episode here at Go Rails. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the new built-in health check endpoints uh, coming in Rails 7.1. So in Rails 7.1, there's a new endpoint that's going to come by default. It is the slash up endpoint. Now, when you hit this endpoint, it's either going to return a 200 if the application was able to boot successfully with no exceptions or a 500 otherwise. Now what you can do with this is you can set it up to where you can have external services that you report this status to by hitting the endpoint. So you can hit the endpoint uh, and send that status to you know an uptime monitor or to a load balancer to determine the health. So it'll be slash up by default, but again, in your routes, you can go ahead and in there and you can change it. Uh, you'll just want to route it to the rail slash health controller show action, but you can change whatever you call it right here. You can also replace what controller it goes to if you have uh, custom things you'd like to have happen instead of what is what happens by default in the health show action. So let's fire up a new Rails application and take a look at this. So currently I'm using Rails 7.1.0. Point RC2. Uh, we can verify that if we do a Rails V, we can see indeed that is the version that we are on. So let's do Rails New Healths and let's go ahead and run this. All right, now that that has completed, let's cd into that directory. Okay, and let's open up our editor. So in the routes file, you can see here is the git up to the Rails slash health slash show controller uh, that comes by default. And again, uh, much like I mentioned before, there's two comments above uh, this line that provide some information about why this route is here. Okay, so if we read this, it says, revealed health status on slash up that returns 200 if the app boots with no exceptions, otherwise 500. It can be used by load balancers and uptime monitors to verify that the app is live. So let's go ahead and start up our Rails server and let's go hit this endpoint. So I'm gonna open up a new terminal tab here and I'm gonna just say Rails S. To start up that server. Okay, the server is up. All right, so now if we go to localhost 3000, we see we're on the Rails uh, welcome page now. And now if we navigate to slash up, we'll see that we get this big green uh, response here in the in the browser. Looking at the network tab here, looking at that request that we made, we see uh, we see the header summary. Here we made a request to that endpoint, the slash up one. Status is 200 okay. So this is cool. You can visually see, you know, with the big green document there that we are good to go there. Uh, our response is returning 200 okay. But again, in the routing file, it gives a description here uh, that can be used with load balancers and uptime monitors. So what you can do is you can set it up to where you can, you know, for example, curl that endpoint and then get that information you know sent off to your uptime monitor to be reporting on the status of your uh, application being booted so for example if you're doing a new deploy of an application upon the deployment finishing you can go ahead and curl that endpoint and then for example maybe send inf that information over to slack or discord or some sort of notification service your uptime monitor just itself and have it report um, the status of things and you know, maybe your uptime monitor sends a page if it comes back with a 500 to someone who's on call so they can start diving in and trying to diagnose what happened during that last deploy. For example, right now, if we do a curl to localhost 3000 slash up, we can see that the response that we get is uh, just the HTML response. If we add a dash V in here, we see that we get back our 200 OK response right here. So looking at the source code for this, it's inside of rail ties, lib rails, health controller.rb. Uh, and really, uh, here's the show action. So it will just call this render up method. So which just tries to render some HTML. Um, it's just this string of HTML here. Uh, that's marked as HTML safe. It's just the body with the background color set to the color that's passed in here. In this case of success, it's going to be green. On failure, it's going to be red. And then we also tack on the status of 500 right there. And so inside the health controller, it's just rescues from exception and then therefore calls that render down uh, method inside of the block there. So that's a quick look into the health check uh, endpoint, the slash up endpoint coming in Rails 7.1. And a look into how that works, uh, looking at the source code here, it's pretty straightforward, not too uh, complicated. Uh, and then in a later video following up on this, we'll look at implementing this in an application uh, that leverages a load balancer and how we can use this endpoint in that health check uh, to report to the load balancer. So until next time, take care and I'll see you later.